Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Howdy channel. National Geographic and Ron Howard have returned with Season 3 of Genius. Aretha Franklin this time. Season 1 was Albert Einstein. Season 2 was Pablo Picasso. And now they walk us through Aretha Franklin's life. As far as the show goes, uh, in reflecting over Season 1, 2, and 3... The show has definitely, I mean, in season three, they've solidified it. This this show is all about going into the dark, deep crevices of these people's lives, which I'm not against. However, if you watch all of season one with Albert Einstein, you watch all of season two with Pablo Picasso, and now you watch season three with Aretha Franklin, and I've only seen episode one because that's the only one that's aired so far, you are left with the concept of, why did these people even bother to keep on living? They lead such, according to the programs, miserable, horrible lives that they don't deserve to be famous. They don't deserve to have even lived another day. They just... This show encapsulates the worst of each one of these people. When Picasso was coming up, I'm thinking, are they going to show all the horrible stuff about that guy? Because he was not a nice guy by any stretch of the imagination. And they did. But they showed all this other stuff. Whereas with Einstein, same idea. They showed all the ugly stuff. They also, in episode uh, season one, overhyped, much to my chagrin after I did the further research, on Einstein's wife. I don't like it when a show needs to oversell to meet their modern-day social justice standards. Because what happens is, when you look up the stuff about Einstein's wife... And you see, she was an incredible woman, but she wasn't as incredible as they said in the show. So now you're going to think little of her, because they had shot her up so high that when you go into it, it's like, wow, you actually took a really amazing person and made her look bad because you way oversold her. That's just a shame. Now, in Aretha Franklin's life, I am not a gigantic fan of her, so I don't know as much about her life as I did Einstein's, and about Picasso's going into it. So I don't know how much of this is true and how much of it isn't true. In the Picasso one, most of it was true. As far as the Einstein go, most of it was true. The only thing they screwed up was overselling his wife. When again, she was they didn't need to oversell her. She had her own things that they, they should have just let her stand on. So we're going into this one. And it is... Holy mackerel, is it just really dark, which is why I've done the long introduction of the darkness, to, to tell you it's like, oh, they're not even going to wait. They're not. They're just going to start, and it's like, her life sucks. It's miserable from the very beginning. She gets treated awful by her dad, who's portrayed as this ooh kind of fellow, just ooh. And then you get the portrayal of her husband, who's, it's like Tina Turner and her husband. It's like, oh my, okay. So... When the show first starts in the first few minutes, it shows Aretha as a little girl. And then it shows these white... Okay, the car breaks down. And then these white guys come up and they want to beat him up. They, the white guys want to beat up Aretha and her dad. And it's like, oh, so we're going to go there, are we? Ugh, fine. I wonder if there's any evidence to back this up. Don't know. Like I said, I don't know Aretha's story as well as I do the others. Maybe it happened. Maybe it didn't. But... Don't sit on your laurels at that point, because as soon as they make Whitey look really, really bad, then they show her dad, just as that person I described earlier is, ooh. So they make everybody look bad on this show, which does make you wonder, again, after season one and two to show, no, 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 this is just what this show is. Do you want to keep watching the show? Because, you know, we just came out of a year... Well, technically we're not out of it, but we're really close to being out of it, of lockdowns and everything else and just life being miserable. Unless you're rich, because we all know the rich got richer and the poor got poorer. So much so that California state taxes are, uh, they're overflowing in income from how much tax revenue they gathered. Anyway, so do you want to sit through 10 episodes of just more miserable life highlights? Do you? Do I don't, ugh. It's like, Come on, guys. In the Great Depression, which wasn't called great because it was wonderful. It was called great because in those days the word great meant big, as in Great Lakes, etc. And you had Walt Disney broke out with Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? The Big Bad Wolf. Because that song was 
enlightening and like, oh, because the Big Red Wolf was was the depression and things like that. So people had an alternative to look up to something happy, happy endings where we're being thrown constantly from our media outlets. Ooh, dark, depressing, horrible, and, and all the racial components that are thrown into it now. It's yuck. So I'm going to watch the show. I'm going to finish the show because I love history and stuff like that. But uh, not sure I'm going to enjoy the ride. Really not sure. So do you want to watch it? I don't know. The acting is incredible. The, it's true. The show does extremely high quality productions. It really does. The acting is top notch. The lighting is top notch. The directing is top notch. It's just the writers want to focus in on the worst elements of these people's lives to the neglect of did they ever have a good time? I mean, if you've seen the Picasso one, there's a scene in there where he's fantasizing. Well, you don't know, though, <laughs> where it turns out he's fantasizing about how, oh, him and all of his wives are getting together and having a picnic and they're all getting along. And then he's just like, no, he's just an old man on the beach all alone. Yeah, it's that kind of show. And the, mm, what, mm, yeah, so I don't know. It's like, what's the point of watching these shows? It's like, OK, so, yes, you did learn the history and that part's cool. But that can't be the only history. Why? No. These people would have been suicidal big time or massive drunks. And, okay, well, because I was a massive drunk. But there you go. So I don't know what to tell you about this, of whether you should watch it, you should not watch it. But if you do watch it, yes, you will get really good history with really good acting. But you are not going to get bright spots in these people's lives. Even when the show starts out, it shows her winning an award and dubbed the Queen of Soul. And then she goes backstage with a big black eye because her husband beat her up. That's the kind of show this is. Even in the bright lights. No, there's really a black eye underneath the bright lights. So that's what you get when you watch this show. It's up to you. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the future.